Uh, hey people, back again. More PlayStation Vita videos. I'm gonna take a look at some of these apps. We're already seeing Welcome Park. Um, see parties up and running. Find out what this is even about. Not even the description. Actually, yeah. Nope, I didn't want to do a web search. No, no, no. We'll take a look at the web browser later on. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and start that now. Cool, so you can create a party and invite your friends in a party you can chat and play games with players no matter where they are. So it's pretty much Xbox Live parties on the PlayStation Vita. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, probably somebody did it before Xbox Live, but I don't know about it, so shut up. Uh, create party. Um, that could be the name for it, I suppose. Who can join this front? Who can join this party? Anybody. Anybody who has a Vita. I doubt anyone here. Um, okay, cool. So create party. And it's as simple as that. Let's see how some of these features work. Settings. They got audio chat, so that's pretty cool. Full party of chat. I wish I had a Bluetooth headset. I'm, I believe you can use that for this too. Ooh, it even has my friends list. Alright, so I'm not sure why he's let up go. They're black and. Ah, uh, looks like just. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Alright, so if I could, if they did have Vitas, I could have invited them. Chat and events, and this is pretty much a party system. Can't really show much since no one to really use it with. Um, let's go ahead and shut that down. Uh, let's take a uh, place in the store we already tried. Near. Let's see what this is about. Find out what people around you are playing, so that's pretty cool. I believe it's kind of like the Nintendo DS feature when you pass somebody, it'll give like a holler or something like that. <laughs> okay. Because we all know how much we like reading these things. Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess I gotta do that. Alright, blah, 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 blah. Alright, so you can use Nair to share information about your location. Not sure if I want to do that. <laughs> Settings, location data. Oops, well. Location data. A lot of PSP to system user location, yes. A lot of Nair to use location data. Sure, why not? Playing location automatically at regular intervals. That's probably gonna kill this battery. Why would I even need to? Mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of pointless. All right, so you can share settings. Then I ask my permission again. On the location, share online ID, private games, private zones, all of that. Unit of distance. Wow. Term service piece, some term service, yada 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 yada. That's the settings for that discovery friends out and about. Let's go ahead and update that and see how that works. Okay. One. Mouse. Mouse. Cool. So, um, see how this works. Unpopulated location discovered. Hmm? Hmm, I guess someone has one. I'm currently in Baltimore, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like Baltimore. I'm not really sure how that even works. What's this even about? No data. Mm hmm. It's confusing. I have to decide. Mm 
to get out of this menu here. They got the, the buttons on the side. Friends. Probably won't be much, of course. Discoveries. Hmm. So it looks like this can be some kind of game. It's probably similar to even more to like Foursquare. For people familiar, familiar with that app. Um, yeah, not much to do with that one as of yet, of course. That's near. Got your friends list. Probably really self explanatory. I don't really know why you have to start everything. Now, that's one thing I'm wondering. I don't know if this always stays connected to the PlayStation Network, where you always have to connect when the time is needed. So I'm wondering if people from the PlayStation 3 or whatever can see that I'm online from PlayStation Vita or can they only see when I connect. Some friend requests, be block list. Yeah, it's pretty much um, the friends list. Let's see what you can do with that though. Let's say for example, um, this is PlayStation 3 60 HD 2 right here. You can see his card. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, yep. You can see his PSN ID card. You can chat. Let me try a little taunt. Well, not even so much a taunt. Yeah, it looks like this is... I'm not sure if this is chat or just um, message. So, let's say, yo... kind of maybe like i message bbm type stuff <laughs> let me see chatting oops from the okay definitely not what i wanted to type <laughs> And it looks like you can also take pictures if you want. Uh, well, you can't take pictures, but you can send photos if you had photos. And okay, it looks like you have to refresh to check if a message came in. But yeah, we'll see if you reply later on. So if that can run in the background. Don't even have to close that. Friends can definitely close. Let's see what else we got. Group messaging, then take a look at trophies. Uh, so these are all your PlayStation Network trophies. So your trophies from PlayStation 3 will be tied with the trophies that you get from your Vita as well. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so, um, or maybe I'm wrong. Because for right now, all I see is just trophies. I didn't even know I got a trophy. But just trophies from the PlayStation Vita so far. Maybe they organize it like that. Let's find out. Sort. Um, yeah, okay. Sync with server. Maybe that's what I need to do. And all the other games will show up. Um, nope. Doesn't look like that was the case. Okay, okay. Right here. So you got the PS Vita system trophies, and you got PlayStation Network. So PlayStation Network in general. And then this, there you go. Level 9, 100%, all the games, Uncharted, Ultimate, By Played, Resistance 3. Of course, these are not on the PlayStation Vita, though, but yeah. All the trophies in general from even PlayStation 3. Um, you can compare, see what trophies... And try to go to the best has. Probably, 
probably the same stuff, yeah, you know, just how they usually are. And that's trophies for you. Photos, pretty self-explanatory. Let's take a look at the web browser. So let's obviously go straight to YouTube.com because I know everybody wants to know, can it play YouTube? Can can I type YouTube? Can you spell YouTube? <laughs> Conversely, looking through the monitor of my phone, so it's kind of weird. Anyway, YouTube.com. Go straight there. Alright, uh, doesn't see. Oh no, of course not. The dreaded red banner. You need to update to Adobe Flash to watch this video. So unless they come up with a YouTube app or your Vita themed website, it doesn't look like you can watch much for right now. Of course, who we want to search for? We want to search for this guy. I heard he's really awesome. Yeah, that guy right there. Yeah, the web browser is pretty nice. The browser is nice and fast. Touch screens, intuitive, everything. Um, let's go straight to that channel right now. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can play anything. It's taking a while to load. Let's see. Must click on the video, but yeah, definitely. Yeah, as you can see, you can't play any YouTube videos yet. You probably check out the mobile site, see if the mobile site will work for this. But I'll find out later. Actually, let me see if I can switch that now. It's not at the bottom. Oh, touch OT touch screen, you know, zoom in, zoom out, pinch. I'm sure, everybody is pretty familiar with that now. Yeah, forget it. I'll find out later and tell you all um, about that. Uh, let's see what else you can do with this web browser. Hold on one moment. Alright, so you can open multiple windows, tabs, maybe not yet, it's definitely windows. Yep, uh -huh. um, search, labor, favorites, loved, bookmarks, settings, cookies, JavaScript, cookies, security, trend micro web security, so that's still a part of that. All right, that's pretty much the web browser, and with that, that's honestly pretty much the Vita. That's why I say it's kind of boring, because this this OS you really can't do much with it. Um, music videos, content manager, I'm sure remote play. Might just start. Obviously, start my PlayStation up, but let's see. Most feature that allows you to play some TV. And yeah, I go ahead and do that some other time. I'll bring you a video for that later on. Short on time right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll put some music and video in here. And we can check out Remote Play later. Alright, catch you later. Thanks for watching.